It works! Oh my goodness! It works! Well, I don't know if it works, but I think it works. I was about to go to walk to my computer and just sit there and wait. I wanted to do a live show for you guys for the first time on my phone. I've never done live shows on my phone before. This is so exciting! I thought I would show you the babies live and maybe feed them for you guys live so you guys can see them eat and also kind of see let me show you how the setup looks like so I moved this over here this is my 20 gallon long with a surprise thing over there in a mess that I'm going to review on um, Monday and then here is what everything looks like these are my art supplies I have my buckets here fish supplies right here and oh my gosh there's already 52 of you guys how cool how cool is that uh, banana that's a good question banana sleeping somewhere banana come here come here there she is gonna sit say hi to everybody oh she's so happy banana high five high five right here almost high five Oh, you gotta stand up? Oh, oh, kisses. Okay. Well, this works out. Oh my gosh. Yeah, every, I got the idea from watching um, Press Record on YouTube. They streamed earlier of breaking down uh, their walls and doing some remodeling. So I was like, okay, maybe I can do a very short live stream. Say hi to you guys. Kind of let you see all the little baby fishies and just see if it works. So what I'm doing right now is I actually have a mirror set up right here. It's just a normal mirror. It's propped up and I'm doing this for the male right here and he is flaring so he's just having his little exercise for the day. I'm gonna be doing this for about 10 minutes or so. See he gets really excited and spunky because he thinks that there's another male there. Banana's helping. Right Banana? But that's what's happening over here. And, um... Let me see if I can look through the comments on here. Show. Can I scroll through them? How old are the fry? Um, they're almost three weeks. Not yet, but they're kind of getting there. Here they are, actually. This is a, uh, the endler fry. There's two endler fry in here that I put in here so that they can help teach the baby bettas how to eat. So there's one right there. You can tell them apart because their bodies are a lot um, leaner. By the way, hi guys and welcome everybody to the live stream. And then the baby bettas are right here. So there's one right there. And there's a tiny one right there. Some of them are a lot smaller. Some of them... Are a lot bigger. My next video is going to be on Monday. I might maybe do a vlog on the vlog channel um, on Sunday, possibly. Who knows? Oh my gosh, you're in Canada. How cool is that? Uh, I'm going to be selling some of the bettas online. I'm going to set up a website and I'm going to let you guys be able to purchase them, probably, I think. And, uh, hello, Benji Zoo. Um,. But that's going to be months, months from now. Probably could be anywhere from four to six months. So no, no rush. These guys need to grow out. Once they get a little bigger, um, I'm going to be putting them in here. I'm going to take out all the endler, endler fry. And you can kind of see them swimming around here. This is not my first live stream. That's the mom. That's the dad. I've, I've done, I think two more before. They're on my channel somewhere so you can find them, but you can't really see them very well through here. But you can kind of see the endlers. And then here are the African cichlids from the tank that used to be downstairs. They're a little skittish. Um, they're electric yellow African cichlids. There's two juveniles right there. And then I don't know where the adult went. I think the adult is either hiding in here or in here. It's kind of hard to see. But they're definitely hanging out and kind of hiding and being really shy. Uh, I can't sell them outside of the US at the moment because I don't know 
even how to import betta fish and how to go through customs for imports and how much extra imports would cost like at the moment i'm trying to focus on uh just selling and figuring out how to sell fish and ship fish properly so at the moment it's going to be only within uh the u.s unfortunately i will look up other breeders uh online and maybe i'll make a video about a list of different breeders so anybody that's outside of the u.s that would like koi bettas or other type of colors then maybe i can provide you guys with links so you guys can find some breeders for you guys and i've got some baby bram shrimp right here they've prepared and uh, i'm gonna actually feed them right now so do you guys do you guys want me to feed them type yes in the comments if you would like to see the babies eat some bram shrimps oh there we go oh, oh the comments are coming in okay let's do it let's do it so i'm gonna put them about right here and then and I put them in just like this and they're gonna fall to the bottom and then they're kind of gonna move up all the way up and some of them will actually start swimming while some will fall to the bottom and the bettas start to get really excited the babies and they're gonna start coming out to eat see there's a few already right here How cute are they? They are so adorable. So they're starting to have dorsal fins. They have their pectoral fins. And um but they don't have their ventral fins yet. So they're starting to develop a lot. You can they're kind of transparent. So you can kind of see their bodies forming. And their tummies become red from let's see if this is focus better their tummies become red from eating all the brine shrimp but look how cute they are they're eating all of them I will actually try my best to do more regular live streams because I think it'll be very exciting for you guys to be able to see uh, things live my internet's not that good I actually had to use the internet on my phone because when I hooked it up the Wi-Fi the first time um, it didn't really work really well and then to answer a question about molly fry, uh, community fish food would work well. Uh, let me see. Let me show you my, this is my little container of food. And I've got a variety of things. And mollies, you can actually feed, I don't know if they would like two flex worms, but this is the community fish food I feed to almost all my fish. And it has flakes. It has some dried brine, sh I think, is it? No, baby shrimps, yeah. And then it also has uh, granules, so it's got a variety of food and you just twist it around. So you can feed your community fish different stuff. I think feeding fish a variety is really awesome. I actually, I can actually show you what I have. I have a bunch of things. Um, here are some uh, shrimp, anchovy, bottom dweller food. Uh, snails like this, I mean... Uh, lots of different um, plecos like it, loaches like it, but actually my guppies love this stuff as well. So this could be good for fry. But you know, are you interested? But it's like, is this treats? Do you have treats for me? I like some treats, please. This is my pleco food, but also guppies love this stuff because this is um, algae based, veggie based. I have my, of course, what I just showed you. Then I have two beflex worms. And I have my Rapashi gel food right here. So I have a ton of things here. There's a few other foods I have around the house that I keep forgetting to put in the right container. But it's actually really good to feed your fish. Of, oh my god, everyone thinks. Mookie thinks it's cat treats too. I'm sorry, Mookie. This is Mookie, guys, by the way. For those of you that might be new, he's my male cat that I adopted from Paws. And Paws Chicago is actually the same shelter they adopted uh, banana. Right, Banana? She's like, yes, that is, that is the place that you got me. You should get more pets from Paws. So, here's my little food bucket. Oh, there's my um, blood worms that are freeze-dried as well. I use those, but my favorite food to feed, besides, of course, the live brine shrimp, is I have in my freezer, if I can get it, uh, these are my blood worms. They're frozen. Bloodworms. Um, you can 
kind of see them right there in the corner. And what you do is you just put them in some warm tank water and they thaw super fast. And then you feed them to your fish and a variety of fish can eat them. Guppies can eat them. Bettas love them. Uh, even my African cichlids had some and my endlers like them too. The problem with the endlers, only the adults can eat them. So definitely <laughs> your cat opens the algae wafer. It's funny. Um, but it's definitely good to feed your fish a variety of foods. There is a video I'm going to make very soon where I actually fed one of my male bettas predominantly uh, dried food like pellets and um, wafers. And then my other betta, I fed predominantly live, I mean, well, not they're not live, but frozen thawed food. And I'm going to show you guys the difference and how both of them grew. He's still so spunky and excited because he thinks there's another male in his territory, but it's just a mirror. But it's really good exercise for your um, betta fish to be able to flare for a little bit. Don't do this too long, just a few minutes every day, but it gives them exercise. Um, it gets them excited, and it also when they flare, I think they use all their muscles to flare all their fins out. So that's something that they usually would not do. And then you can see how awesome they are. I mean, look at this guy. When he flares, he's so pretty. He's turning blue and black. So we're going to see what kind of colors he's going to become. But it's kind of exciting to be able to see what he looks like. Let me show you the females. Ignore my ignore my mess, but this is the 20 gallon long tank and The female is actually with everybody and she actually has not changed at all So even though she's also a marble I'm theorizing that she might be from a better line that I just got super super lucky and because of the open hand is coughing um because of that, she might be able to retain her colors longer. It doesn't mean that she won't uh, keep her coloration forever. She might change. This one is marble as well, this little baby right here, which I'm theorizing should be a female, but maybe a male. And if this turns out to be a male, I'm going to have to separate this little one. But that's a marble. That's a marble. This is a black orchid um, crown tail right here. Um, and then I wondered, I was wondering if she might be marble, maybe, but I don't think so. And then I don't really know the specific color forms for the other ones. I know this one might be reddish or cellophane, that one's red. I need to learn a lot more about color forms so I can identify everything. Um, this keeps falling over. I need to figure out a better way to kind of set this up, but... I cut off some of the leaves in this plant and I need to cut these off too, but I have new growth. So as you can see, there's a healthy leaf right here growing. So I'm winning the battle with the algae very slowly. I have uh, some pothos plants on the sides right here. Um, Life with Pets on YouTube recently just made a video about pothos plants. So you should um, check her out and subscribe to her channel if you already haven't. Um, and yeah, what else can I talk about oh I have besides auto sinkless catfish that I have in here which they're small but see there's one right there they're really great algae eaters but unfortunately they're only wild caught because people have not been successful in breeding them uh, I have an algae eater that's really big and he's he's right here and I can't show you because he's under there but he's so old. If you check out my uh, most current vlog that I put up on my vlog channel, uh, Creative Pet Vlogs, you like, oh my gosh, he's such a huge poop. Sorry, I got distracted by huge betta poop. <laughs> but he is the oldest fish I own out of all my fish. This guy is like over eight years old. Oh, he moved. And that seems to be his new house right now. He seems to be hiding there. Oh, that's the... Female or male. Yeah, I think it's a female because from what I'm looking at right here, besides the fact that my camera's blurry, looks like an egg spot under there. But the thing about young bettas is actually they could change genders. <laughs> so even though this one is a female from what it looks like, could be Oh, you guys are mean. Way to go up and be mean. They all think I'm going to feed them. They're all pooping right now too. 
they're all like swimming and following me right now and they're like um so you're by the tank usually when you're by the tank that means you're feeding us so where where's the food why is everyone pooping right now this is like the coordinated poopy um let's see can i do like i mean q a on here I could, let me see, because the comments, uh, when I look at it on my phone, they keep disappearing. So they'll appear, and then they disappear really quickly. And, um, let me try to see if I can scroll. Oh, I got a new subscriber, yay, thank you. Uh, do, 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 do. Let me try to see if I can take a look at this. That's like the downside, is the comments keep disappearing. On here one is red is what why why is one comment have a red highlight on it I'm still trying to figure out what's going on um, I just started a 55 gallon planted aquarium how many beta females do you think I could put to make it whoa 55 goodness gracious well it depends if you have other fish but uh, oh boy 55 <laughs> you could put a lot um, I would say with female bettas, the more, the better, because aggression is spread out. So I would get 10 or more. I mean, I had, this is a 20 gallon, and I have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Plus 2 out of sink is 9, 10. And then the catfish, so that's like 12 fish in here. So that's, and I'm still probably going to add 2 or 3 babies from the fry when I grow them out. I would say like 10 to 15 would be like a really happy number. And then maybe you could put some other fish in there. The large trailing poop is in if it constipated. Oh, I just fed them um, dry, uh, a rapashi gel food. And that's why every time I feed them rapashi food, um, they always poop like that. With other, like if I feed them something else today, they'll have normal poop. It's just because of the rapashi, they eat so much. And it's in a gel form, it just comes out really weird. But, um, but I tend to switch it up, but that's a good point, like, to pay attention to fish poop, to be able to tell what's going on with your fish, and constipation can be a big problem. I'm usually more worried about that when I feed pellets, um, than the rapashi food, luckily. Someone, someone tell me in the comments that they went to poop. Oh my goodness, you guys are silly. Uh, red... But uh, what if I breed red betta fish male to light body betta fish with the red fin? I actually am just learning about betta genetics. So I kind of don't know that much yet. But there is a website you can go to that's, I believe, called Betta Territory. Um, and it's a awesome breeder. I don't know where he, I don't remember where he's at. But he actually has a whole section on color and genetics and just so much awesome information. So if you look up Better Territory. Oh, my auto list decided to come and say hi. Look at him work. Yes, please eat all the algae. Help me. Have poop emojis. Uh, what else? I would love to... If you could put, yeah, a list of breeders together. I'm going to have to check that out. Ask some people around. Oh yeah, there's another orange comment. It's from Daniel. I was wondering why, why, um, oh, it's because you're tagging me. Oh my gosh. I'm learning about live stream, guys. I'm such a newbie. So every time you guys tag me in something, then, uh, I guess it's orange. Let's see. You've been subscribed for two months? Turtle talk. With Squirtle and Friends. That's such a cute name. You guys are you guys are the awesomest. What's your favorite fish species other than bettas? Uh I actually love um, African cichlids and more particularly peacock cichlids. I used to have a bunch of like beautiful males. Um, I actually have a video that's way, way, way somewhere in my channel that showcased when my African cichlid uh, 55 gallon was like Ed's glory. Uh, it used to be a tank that I shared with my dad, and we maintained it together. And I made a whole video actually highlighting one of the uh, peacocks that I had. And one of my goals is I would like to get a 55 to 75 gallon and have a 
African cichlid, like maybe some electric yellows, but predominantly male peacocks and have like a beautiful rockscape show tank. Oh, oh, that would be so good. But I can't right now upstairs here because there's like a weight limit to how much I can put because I live in like an attic area. So, you know, don't want to fall through to the bottom. Oh, someone's from England. So cool, guys. Oh, and thank you for everybody that is um, subscribing. Makes me so excited and happy. And then, what do I feed Banana? Banana's gone again. Banana, come here. She keeps going to her bed and napping. She's like, guys, guys, what do you want, guys? Hi. So, I feed Banana a variety of things. She usually is on a raw diet, but um, recently, because I've lost some freezer space, um, because I share a huge freezer downstairs with some other people, uh, I had to put her temporarily back on kibble, so I've been trying a variety of kibbles. I want to put her on a um, high-performance mushing dog kibble that I found. I forgot the name, but I'll talk about it when I try to order some. But it's really high calorie and high in fat. And because Banana is so active, because we do a lot of bike drawing, we do a lot of running and hiking, um, it's hard for her to put on weight. So currently she is 25 pounds, but I would like for her to put on one more pound of weight. And then that can turn into muscle as she starts bike drawing and exercising this year. So hopefully that food will do well. She's so happy. Let's go back. Hi, Mookie. So let's go back into the fish room so that we may look. Oh, she just followed. She's like, yeah, we're going to the fish room. Okay. Okay. And by the way, guys, I have.